Hey guys, we're back playing Ogre Battle, and we're going to start uh, Shulamana today. Now that we have our 99 Princess Royal Crowns from our Zodiac side quest, and I haven't actually used any of them. I'm, I don't intend to. I mean, there's no real reason to. Uh, this does not start the place where uh, your... The alignment starts to matter. I mean, everything I saw was still high. So, whatever. Uh, Rolanda, yeah, you're done. I guess we're gonna be down to Ash, and I guess Canopus can try to fight enemies here. I don't know how successful he's gonna be, because, well, it's kinda terrible. Not, like, by choice, just by the fact that, you know, I have him and... Gilbert in the unit there, and while they're both special characters, they're not, you know, all that strong. What he's gonna do is he's gonna liberate this town, this one, and then this one. He's gonna leave... He's gonna stay there. He's gonna leave Ash here, and Warren's gonna sit here and back up. Gotta go do that. And we get Reiterberg. Zoidberg? No, Reiterberg. Um, sure, hopefully he gets some... Oh, that's not good. Well, I guess... That's as good as you can get it, really. Trevia? Four Vettas? Nice job with the typo there, game. It's supposed to be a diva, a diva, whatever. Right, there you go. Uh, yeah, but Trevia is the last of the divas. I think it's... Uh, Debonair, Figaro, uh, I forget the other schmuck's name, and Previa. One of them you recruit, well, you, they're all bo stage bosses, but you can recruit Debonair. The other ones are impossible. I don't know if Debonair has to fight Previa either. I think he does, but I'm gonna send that unit anyway. That unit has pretty much every. That unit pretty much has every special character in it that will, you will be needed for, uh, you know, fighting bosses for the rest of the game. So. And we get a cherry card. That should help them if they do get in a fight with, you know, two more strength. Yeah, Samurai and knights. Thanks. Game. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. You know what my games are made out of? The same thing. What is go- Dude, if Java's updating again, I'm gonna punch it in the face. Yeah. Freaking nonsense. Dude, yeah, Java's gonna update. No. No, it doesn't. <sighs> I bought 30 boots. I used somehow a bunch of them doing random things. It's kind of annoying, really. Oh, I never bothered to uh, see if those weapons would do anything for me, but... Yeah, I'll do it after this stage. Uh, this stage, I don't recall being that hard. Except the game's gonna slow down on me because it likes to do that sort of nonsense. Um, perhaps I should move Warren a little closer. <laughs> just in case he gets in trouble. Because he can't, he can't boots to a, a temple, so... Yay, judgment. Alright. More HPs for Canopus and them. We, I did. Wait, she's alive. Oh, is that one of those vicious rumors to make us go after him? I guess it is. I don't recall seeing her in the game, but I, then again, I didn't remember that you know, particular dialogue was in the game either, so, you know, I could be wrong. She very well might be in this game. Okay, we have our enemies appearing. As I get down to see them. We have demons. Everybody's level 20-something. And they're coming right for me. You guys suck. Uh, Saradin should be able to handle them easily enough. I'm still waiting for Saradin's uh, demon to level up. I think it's 23 when he becomes a devil, and then he will be awesome. More awesome than he is. Uh, 
gonna try to keep this one short today because the enemies got here pretty. This is actually a small stage, so the enemies got here pretty fast, which is good because that means that this episode's not gonna run 15 minutes as I wait in vain for the enemy to show up. But yeah, it doesn't look like anything important. Mainly, you'll notice in this game, I probably should have talked about this, you know, earlier, but. Uh, if you have two stages that are unlocked at roughly the same at the same time, the enemies in them will have roughly the same strength. As you, the last stage was, you know, 20, 21, 22. This stage is going to be exactly the same. Ah, Nightmare Demon. And Saradin takes care of them easily enough. When are those... When are, when are their knights gonna... Or their skeleton is going to change classes. 22, that's... They should have already. Why can't they? I gotta find out in the main episodes and check that. Because they have an upgraded uh, form called the Wraith, which is just the same thing, but... Ugh, Cogatrice. Yeah, Canopus is so dead. Oh, because they're not going after Canopus, my god. But, yeah, they have an upgraded form called the Wraith, which is just the same thing as, like, if you saw an... Wow. <laughs> Just dodge right between two guys and try to run out the middle where you run into my big middle linebacker there, Warren. But yeah, they an up it's the same thing as like upgrading a knight to a paladin. You know, you get an extra attack in the front row. Please don't. Oh, okay, do it to him, I don't care. Ow, that hurt. So you do it to the the one of the things you do it to Warren, I lose three. And that's annoying. Because it can mean the difference between complete annihilation of the enemy and leaving them with, like, one guy alive. Okay, there's some more. Raven Man. There they are. I see a Wraith. Uh, he's... Ugh. And what's this? This is a Monk and two Red Dragons. Now... In the last stage, there was about three different kinds of this unit, where it was a monk and two dragons, and literally they took four freaking ever to die. I mean, it is just, oh, it is ridiculous. I mean, Warren could not kill them in one round half the time. He was slaughtering the monk, but the dragons would run away. And then he'd have to chase them down, because he's Warren, he can do that sort of thing. Uh... Saradin couldn't kill them. Well, actually, Saradin had an easier time of it because one of her heals would be wasted trying to kill his undead. And in fact, one time I, I threw a world card out there so they'd be immune to magic, so she wasted both her heals trying to kill his undead. But that was kind of funny. Alright, are you gonna go after Canopus or. If you go after Warren, I'll be eternally grateful. Is that another of the same unit there? No, it's a devil. And a zombie dragon. Okay, good choice for the leader, bad choice for everything else. Zombie dragon? Really? <sighs> zombie dragons, I mean, Tiamats are upgraded black dragons. They are really good. Um, okay. This is going to suck. Well, actually, it's not going to suck because, uh, my skeleton, one of my skeletons in the front there has, uh, white magic weapons. He's going to have to not miss both of these attacks. They're both of his attacks. Hopefully, um, they can actually get rid of the guys in the back there. Yeah, see, there, he got rid of that one. That guy's got a dark magic weapon, he's not gonna do anything. I probably should give him a dark, or a white magic weapon, too. Say, so hopefully, like, Warren and... There, thank you. Now it's set up, the only thing the guy can attack is the other skeleton, and if he hits it, we're good. Of course, everyone else is going to go first and feebly throw their shit at it. There we go. Nothing to it. Okay. Oh, we only lost 600 goth there. Okay, that's nice. Uh, yeah, let's have a show off ashes this battle. After this battle, I'm going to end the episode, because I'm at 10 minutes. I've stretched it out long enough. Now watch how maddening this is going to be. Okay, 
44 damage. 42 damage. And that's gonna all gonna go away, watch. Yep, there we go. That still counts toward, um, the battle, but it's all gonna... Not, they're gonna take forever to kill this unit, because they're not gonna... It's, especially if the dragon doesn't hit things. Because look, there goes that, and then... They, this guy's gonna heal that. And now I have two attacks which actually deal what I'm going to call permanent damage. Well, there's one. Yeah, there's there. So now, basically, they're going to... They lost, in, in total, 40-something HP, or close to 50. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys suck. Yeah, it sucks to be them, huh? I'm going to show the slaughter of them, because I think that's freaking funny. I probably should have healed that uh, mage there. Thankfully, because your because your evil units all tend to be a high level, they tend to have a lot of agility just based on the fact that they have grown a lot because it's a high level. So a lot of times, you're, if you have a unit like this, they'll get the spells off far faster than any cleric can heal, which is good because you don't want them to be lingering around and stuff. And Warren, if you please. See, Warren doesn't have any trouble with these units, because the three spells will more than likely kill a cleric before anything goes down. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Ogre Battle. Next time we will, I will defeat all the enemies, and next time we will liberate all the towns, find all the treasure, and kick Previa's ass. So thank you guys so much for watching, thanks for all your support, and have a good night.